We, we've been in here for about uh, two hours. Uh, they gave us the first drink. They wouldn't tell us exactly how much it was. It seemed like three to four shots of booze, and then we mixed it with whatever we wanted. We drank that over the first hour. They gave us a second um, sample uh, an hour later. And so right now, I'm guessing I've had, I don't know, somewhere from six to eight shots of alcohol. Um, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. We're teaching uh, deputies uh, the proper way to administer standardized field sobriety test. It's a great experience. Um, the other, the only other option for us to have is to sit and watch a video. Um, so, for the deputies to actually perform the field sobriety test on live subjects to see how alcohol affects people, to see um, how the nystagmus looks in different people and their eyes. Sometimes you can see it very easily. Sometimes you can't see it very easily. You can't pick that up on a video. I'm just going to have you stand with your feet together like this, arms right down to your sides, watching me. Stay right there until I tell you to move. Do you understand? Yes. Can you see the tip of this pen? Yes. Okay, what I want you to do is follow this pen with your eyes and your eyes only without moving your head. Do you understand? <laughs> yeah. Okay, go ahead and look at my pen. Yeah. Nope, just, just with your eyes. Nystagmus is the involuntary jerking of the eyes. Uh, most people have natural occurring nystagmus in their eyes, but certain drugs, including alcohol, allow us to see that nystagmus. Standardized field sobriety tests are uh, horizontal gaze nystagmus, walk and turn, and uh, one leg stand. We give them a certain amount of alcohol, and the students that are in the class uh, test them, put them through the uh, standardized field sobriety tests. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I probably shouldn't be driving. <laughs> three. I guess, you know, I sort of, I, I might have strayed, you know? Okay. So I don't know. I don't even know exactly what you guys are looking for in that, but I, I suspect that you know, I strayed from a straight line. So even though uh, I wasn't the most outrageous in uh, in behavior, I was apparently the drunkest. Uh, at the end, I blew a point one six, and. Um, even people who drank more than me apparently uh, blew significantly lower uh, blood alcohol contents. Um, so I think uh, the moral of the story is uh, even if you are confident that you are uh, acting reasonably and intelligent, you might uh, be pathetically drunk and uh, incapable of driving. <laughs>